Okay, we are done with the cylinder. Now we move to a new geometry. Okay, so this is the mix and elbow case in internal mesh. So here you have the location, and what we're going to do is this: we have this pipe, okay, and we're going to do the mesh. Easy piece. We know how things work. The, the the main difference here will be that that point location in mesh needs to be inside the STL to have the point inside. That's all. Okay. So a few tricks that we're going to see here that already we cover. So just to remind you that you can do refinement regions like this and use a, a surface as a reference. Okay. So this is the surface, and then you can use this distant mode and everything normal to that surface in both directions, but here we keep just the internal part. This the instance at this refinement is very helpful, okay? So I'd like to use that method. These are the dictionaries that we're going to, to, to use, the standard ones, and also just to remind you that we can work in parallel. Okay, so this case is going to run in parallel and serial. One thing that it does not scale very well is snap in parallel, but at least it runs faster than in serial, but it's not it's not great, no, the scalability, but in any case. Uh, okay, so a few guidelines, okay? And just to mention that in this case, um, it's very important this, this next step, because in this case, uh, we're using uh, STL that have multiple uh multiple regions it's very important okay and i uh, just to show you since in particular when you have internal regions it's strongly recommended to have that stl okay with multiple regions so see here the steps how to call the regions how are the naming conventions and in the stl just to remind you here okay you can change the names and so on and then you can access all the patches information so let's see what happens here because we're going to do it with multiple regions and single regions so the first part is multiple regions okay so just to show you these steps okay so remember first step is block mesh okay so you create the mesh we have the block mesh the standard one a uh, parametrical dictionary okay so let me go here and if i open here see that's it's parametrical i know my dimensions but i want, want to point out something that i mentioned in the previous video okay and in particular important for internal mesh so this is what we're doing you have the block mesh and then inside you put your body okay so in this case and let me open this one this is the STL with multiple see that you have different colors meaning different regions but when you have internal geometries and I mentioned this it is extremely recommended let me change here not to properly you now have the the, the the outer box now cut in the geometry because recall the 2D case that when you cut it, you are cutting the, the, also the geometry. So usually a good practice just to put it one or two cells larger to avoid that problem. So probably here is not a big deal as you put it also here. Here will be difficult to control, but it will be important as you look at this direction here, here. So as you put it here, it might, it might happen that you put it there flush, exactly touching. It might happen that it can cut a little bit that is still and that is not what you want to do so just make it a little bit bigger one cell or two cells that is all not much that, like that so that is important so what we do here is that internal mesh okay so you have your block mesh and remember the point now is inside the mesh and see that we have and this is very important in internal geometries that to have this identification here now you have the different regions and in this case we have one two, three regions. Okay, so this will be, well, four regions, sorry. Inlet, inlet, outlet, and the pipe, okay? So the problem is that is you don't split this, with the problem will, when, will be when adding the boundary layer you will see in the next step. So to split that, and let me go here, constant, just to remind you, super, uh, super face. Here we have, you no. Know, the geometry so for instance this is surface auto patch so you can rely on the tools that comes with open from remember phone info will tell you something probably not much, not very helpful so then look look for auto patch but also you can do 
So face auto patch minus help. And is this how you can use it now? So you have input geometry, output geometry, and you give this angle. Okay, so we did it previously. So let's use this one. So my input geometry will be uh, so face mesh, the one with a single patch. I want the output, I would call it like this. And let me use an angle and a small angle, 10 degrees. Okay, and now I will go like this, uh, look for the keyword solid. And see that you have a single patch. Okay, so this angle is too low and you can increase. And so if you put it 90, oops, that is too large, 90 degrees. See that now you are detecting one, two, three patches. So let's see what we have there. So is this one? And each color represents a different patch. So we'll wait one, two patches. See that it didn't manage to detect that one and this one. So we keep increasing the angle. Okay, so now as I say, 150 usually is okay. So for me, that is a standard value. And if I run this one, see that now we have one, two, three, four, five patches. Okay. So what are those five patches? We open here, go here, and see that different colors, different patches. So see that detect this, this, this. And this pipe, this surface, see that it's, it managed to split this in two and this one. Okay, so probably you are not interested in getting this one. So maybe you just need to reduce that angle. Okay, under uncertainty. And if I go part of you, likely 130. I know that in this case, the angle, see that now you have a single one, everything detected. So th that is how this utility works. I highly recommend you to, to use it. So the auto patch is something similar, but with your final mesh. Here we're doing this at the level of the STL. You can also do it with the mesh, final mesh, but I recommend you better get the STL, okay? So I just show you that, okay? In this case, we're going to run, okay? using a multiple surface okay so we know that you have those <coughs> regions in the stl and let's read the snappy x mesh so see here that you have this one multi is the one that is going to read the multiple there multi surface so see that we are enable everything in one single step read the multi give this name then access the regions okay so see that i know these are the regions in, in in my STL, I already rename it. So by default, there will be patch zero, one, two, three. I just open it and change the name. And see here that now I'm using the same name convention to avoid confusion. And that's all. So now you can access these patches locally in the STL, standard auctions, run surface features. If you have features to, to detect, later we're going to see this. And see here that global, and then in the pi to two, and then you can put it in different sections. So see that you can just in this, let me enable this one inlet one, or let me put it in inlet two. You can add this, and you can also set extract regions from the STL, everything like we did in the previous case. So see here that we have this small pi STL. So this is just in cases you get that region now when you, <clears throat> That, that that region when you use your face out auto patch and that's all then here refinement region so you can add a refinement normal to the surface so see that you are reading the surface the whole surface so be careful that this you can only apply it to the whole surface it cannot be applied to regions so i think you have the comment there that it can apply to regions okay it do, does not take to re, region so if you select the whole region you're going to use normal to the wall distance 0.1 a refinement of two so later we're going to see this let's run first this case that i just changed here something okay what was what i changed okay let me see okay the inlet i enable inlet two okay so let's run okay and run mesh and it will be multiple surfaces okay so it's running in parallel and it's going 
it's doing everything in one single step okay and i think it's not saving okay let me see the steps if it is using so see the steps and using the override option so i don't have the option to restart okay so be careful so if you want to restart just yeah, and see here that you are I'm renaming using this utility to change the name of the patch so the case is ready to run okay so the simulation is done so you have your check mesh everything you can go back here my screen okay so there are many steps involved and see that we have a very good coverage of the boundary layer so let's see what we have Paraffin. By the way, it's Paraffin built-in, okay, because Paraffin, I generated in parallel, and I think I didn't reconstruct the mesh, I don't recall. So, ah, yeah, I have it there, so, but let, let's do use, let's get used to use Paraffin built-in. And this is what you have. It's just a very neat mesh, okay, very good, yeah. Your boundary layer, everything there, and see here that I chose here to use a finer mesh here, and you see the effect here. So this is something that you can do when you have that local control, those regions in STL, okay? So give you a lot of flexibility. But the problem and here is clear. So for instance, let's say that you don't have this STL in mul separated in multiple regions. The problem will be with the boundary layer because as you have a single patch, your boundary layer will also propagate in these phases here because you have a single patch so now here you have different patches or phases you just select the pipe and it works so that's why it's important in the case you now in this case of internal geometries to to split it to have it there but there are ways are uh, ways are around that but it's better to 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 split everything in multiple regions okay so now let me go back here I will erase that comment and let's say for instance that I want to enable let me enable this auction here so now I'm going to add a refinement in the whole pipe remember that you are reading here everything okay and we're going to add a refinement of two okay normal to the wall a distance so and let's do better a refinement of four okay i go there so see that you select everything and the selection will include the regions okay and this distance normals to the wall to to the surfaces at this splitting okay so it will be a much finer mesh So you have many options here. You can command and command and you can see the behavior. So for instance, we can read this mold pipe. You, you have here this STL already prepared. So you can read this mold pipe and then you can apply a refine, a refinement there. So this will take some time now because four, you see here the difference between two and four is a lot. And even I'm running in parallel with four cores and see that how slow it is that you increase so it's much better instead of of in putting a large value there like five six just get better block mesh okay and remember again that values more than five than four likely is going to give you problems when doing the boundary layer meshing so let's see how long does it take here in the same time this i'm sure that it's using a lot of memory Okay, and even it's running in parallel, so it's almost done. Okay, it's going there, all the checks are okay. One, okay, now, okay, it's finished. The, pre the, the castellation now is doing the snapping. Okay, so hopefully this will be fast. I see here that already. When you see all these numbers zeros, means that there are no errors. Okay, you are reaching the the mesh quality criterion that you define it in, in your input files. So let's wait 
a little bit and let's see what happens. Okay, after a long wait, see that we have a mesh, see that probably we have some excuses problems there. But as you go up and you will see your log file of the meshing, see that you have a hundred percent coverage of boundary layer and let's see what we have. Okay. But the takeaway here is see that how going see how, how going from two to four a complete increase, you know, it, it's greatly increase the computing time. Okay, so that's why I say better focus more and see that it's true. We have something much better. Okay, and see here that also resolves very well everything. And you can look here at your boundary layer. So it's a nicer mesh. Okay, but the computing time we increase it a lot. So maybe by using a wiser choice, you know, of options, you can get something like that okay without incurring in this increasing of time and see that what i mentioned that what we were doing is normal to the wall at this time of zero one and this is a lot of time it's spent here but also here it took this patch there okay so again you feel free to play with this auction so let's say let's go back like this i disabled that auction and let's rerun okay and you will see that is the difference is, is you can easily know the <laughs> the difference between two and four okay so it's going super fast and it still is a good quality mesh but there are a few issues that i want to point out you know and recall a few of the techniques that we use with the cylinder so see that now we have this it's a nice still nice mesh okay not a problem but if you look closely here where you have the, jun the junction between this small pipe and the large pipe see that maybe here there are a few issues okay so it might be a good idea see here to resolve those problems so usually those all those problems are resolved and see here also you have a problem here that again all these problems can be solved you now by increasing the the mesh the, the 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 mesh refinement. So you can make finer this patch. You have access, and here also we can make finer this patch. Okay. So how do we do it? And and just to remind you that you can extract those feature feature edges. Okay. So let me go here. Apply. Bam bam bam. You go here. Filters. Alphabetical. Feature edges. And see that using an angle of, of 30 is detecting this also. But let's say that I want to do something selective and I want to extract just that one and apply something different to this one. So you can go like this, extract it, you have it, and then save it in BTK and convert, and that's all. This is already done. You have it there, I already do, it did it. So just to show you that now let's enable that auction so see that as you go here here you have pipe ring so that correspond to that one that i extracted using part of you and see that now here we add a refinement level of four okay so that is likely will solve that problem that you have there in that junction between the two surfaces that you have this those strange cells there Okay, so uh, uh, let me see that it's snappy. Let's smash. Okay, gave a problem. So, bam, 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 bam. So, I think, okay, pipe ring image is not there. Okay, three surface. Okay, need to convert it to. So, remember to convert that, you go surface filter convert okay then constant this three surface pipe ring and then let me put it there saying constant this surface pipe pipe ring 
image okay so I convert it so let's be sure that you have it there so likely well, when you receive your tutorials you're going to have it there but remember always you need to convert it and now let me rerun here so now you have there that file so now it's locally okay so kind of you are overwriting so in this one you're accessing everything including that one but see that you put zero so now you have this locally and apply and refinement of four so this one will override whatever you have there and here and here and see that now by doing this one see that clearly you see the influence of applying this this refinement so see that a much nicer mesh that you have there okay so the same will be see here that you have this error here collapsing it's not a big deal but usually you refine the mesh so let's do something that i would like to do that in this small pipe there so if you go back so in all dictionaries you will see that you have many files commented so you can start to uncomment and see what is the behavior see that that correspond to that small pipe and now I will go here and I can enable let me enable that here a small pipe I like to use this one okay a refinement of four there and let me go here Okay, so normal to that small pi, this distance, uh, relatively small system, distance is doing a refinement of four. So everything is two, but now they're at that refinement. So let's see what happens. So remember that you have two ways to do it. Also, you, I, I could have done it here, but remember that this likely is going to create a second patch, but you can fix that problem. Here you already have it in create patch, you you can use create patch okay and you can rename the, those those pipes if you have the multiple patches just put it there and it will do the renaming okay okay we are done let's open there we go here and clearly there you see the effect okay so now see that finer mesh and if I rotate here problem solve okay so no issue there and we can put here a cut plane and normal here no triangulation no cut plane and see that you have the refinement that distance that you shows and your nice boundary layer we're using the method that is relative to the cell next okay but well, you can play around with the other options absolute okay so if you want to play around with different options remember that you will go here you first ge generate up to a snap and then fall fast through and when you run this case remember to disable the override option so you save the intermediate steps okay you can do it also in parallel okay there is no problem so another nice case you see that you have different actions here so please feel free to play to play with this case okay you can say you can on command you have many you can open the my advice open the different stls that you see there so you can get an idea of what i was thinking what you have or what you would expect there and then see the difference of options that you can uncomment low there different refinements here and then also for the uh, boundary layer so this is all for, for for this case so in this one we use an stl with multiple regions the next one i'm going to show you using an stl a single region so how we can split that final mesh However, remember, it's better when you are doing internal geometries, it's better to, to, to have the, 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 the STL split in different regions. And to point out something, look at the point, the location in mesh. Okay, I haven't mentioned anything about this because I think it's, I don't need to mention it, but see that now this location on, on mesh is you look this point, it is inside the STL. So that's why we get the internal geometries you move this point outside the stl 
you get everything outside. For those might be wondering, oh, but what if I do conjugate heat transfer? That is something different, a little bit more advanced that I'm not going to address is something advanced, okay? But it's possible to, to do it. Okay, so that's all for this case. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in the next video. Bye.